Hello everyone, I'm Damon Barnes. I run technical marketing in the promotion organization at the Bluetooth Special Interest Group. Today, I'm gonna to share some information about the launch of the upcoming Bluetooth channel sounding feature. We think this feature is gonna have a big impact on the Bluetooth ecosystem. The Bluetooth SIG oversees the Bluetooth wireless technology standard and all associated trademarks. We operate as a not-for-profit member-driven organization that has been operating for 25 plus years. As a company, we oversee the following. We handle all Bluetooth standards development. We average around 50 active specification development projects underway at any given time. Then we also handle product certifications or qualification. Here, we oversee more than 70,000 Bluetooth qualifications per year. And then we also operate as the patent and trademark license administrator for Bluetooth technology. We license Bluetooth to 40,000 plus member companies. Lastly, but certainly not least, we also function as the trade association responsible for the promotion and marketing of Bluetooth technology. For more than 25 years, Bluetooth technology has given devices new capabilities, opening markets, shaping culture, and enriching lives. Bluetooth has made our lives safer, more productive, and more joyful, better connecting us to each other and our world. From headsets to wearables and large-scale device networks to positioning solutions, Bluetooth technology has become an ingredient of everyday life. ABI Research projects 5.4 billion Bluetooth devices will ship in 2024 alone and 7.5 billion in 2028. Although Bluetooth has been primarily known for wireless audio streaming, connections for data transfer, and networking devices for lighting control, the Bluetooth SIG member community has also pioneered advancements that give Bluetooth devices the ability to understand their position in relation to each other. A few years ago, a group of key Bluetooth SIG member companies came together to enhance the accuracy and the security of Bluetooth device positioning. Today, thanks to the hard work of the member community, I'm here to introduce the latest Bluetooth technology innovation, a new feature that enables secure fine ranging between Bluetooth connected devices. Let's now take a closer look at device positioning with Bluetooth technology. Here we have what you can think of as the portfolio of Bluetooth device positioning features. Bluetooth device positioning enables one device to determine the presence, the distance, and the direction of another. This gives Bluetooth devices the ability to understand their location in relation to each other. These capability areas have allowed Bluetooth technology to deliver flexibility unlike any other positioning radio. Bluetooth device positioning features can be summarized as follows. For presence, the feature is Bluetooth advertising. This is where a transmitting device broadcasts its presence to scanning devices within a general area. For distance, we have Bluetooth RSSI. RSSI enables a receiving device to estimate the distance to a transmitting device by measuring the power level of the received radio signal. And when it comes to direction, that's of course Bluetooth direction finding. This is where a receiving device determines the direction of a signal from a transmitting device. So that's a summary of how we define Bluetooth device positioning, the capability areas, and enabling features. Now let's take a look at a couple of the key distance use cases that today rely on RSSI for measuring course distance. Bluetooth RSSI gives a device the ability to estimate the distance to another Bluetooth device, that is course ranging. What RSSI is really enabling here is basic distance awareness. Here you can see a couple of the key use cases that today rely on Bluetooth RSSI for course ranging between devices. First, there's Find My Solutions. This includes tags and supporting devices for real-time personal item finding. Then there's Digital Key. Here we're talking about access control to places like cars, homes, and offices, and then things like cabinets, locks, and safes for security. Bluetooth technology is widely used globally today to enable these use cases. That said, there are a couple of challenges with RSSI. First, the distance estimates are highly variable as the distance between the devices increases, and also in tough RF environments. Then number two, there's also the fact that RSSI doesn't include dedicated security. These factors are what led key members of the Bluetooth community to approach the SIG to develop a feature that could enable precise, secure distance measurements. So here we are. Bluetooth channel sounding is the result of a tremendous amount of hard work by the member community. 
Taking another look at the portfolio of device positioning features, you can see that channel sounding has been added to the mix. With channel sounding, we're going to split the distance capability into two categories, coarse ranging and fine ranging, as you can see. Channel sounding, of course, enhances the distance measurement capabilities of Bluetooth technology, and we think it's going to benefit many Bluetooth use cases. We anticipate the channel sounding feature will reach adoption, also known as public availability this year, currently targeting September 24. So what is Bluetooth channel sounding? Let's take a closer look. The channel sounding feature brings secure, fine ranging capabilities to Bluetooth technology. Channel sounding utilizes a well-established wireless ranging method called phase-based ranging to enable fine ranging. Multiple security features are available to mitigate against the risk of known wireless ranging attacks, such as spoofing and man in the middle. With more precise distance measurements, Bluetooth connected devices are able to gain true distance awareness. That means a Bluetooth device can better understand its position or location relative to other devices. As far as performance goes, channel sounding enables centimeter level accuracy. Over the last several months, we have been working with the member community to have them conduct performance testings. We can confidently share that early implementations are reporting plus minus half meter accuracy at up to 100 meters. At distances less than 5 meters, we have a member company reporting close to 0.1 meter accuracy or within 10 centimeters. That's a great result, especially when you consider these readings are from pre-standard implementations. And we think it's quite possible the performance is going to improve as these implementations mature over time. Now let's take a look at how phase-based ranging works at a high level. An initiator device, such as a smartphone, chooses a frequency, for example, frequency one, to send a signal to a reflector device, such as a door lock which returns the signal at its receive phase. Upon receiving the return signal, either device may calculate the distance using the phase difference. Then the process is repeated on additional frequencies to help reduce ambiguity and thereby increase the accuracy of the distance measurements. That's phase-based ranging at a high level, which enables fine ranging between Bluetooth connected devices. Bluetooth channel sounding also incorporates a secondary ranging method called round trip time or RTT. Unlike phase based ranging where the phase can be potentially changed by an attacker, round trip time is based on time of flight and time can't be reversed. Round trip time can be used as a countermeasure against sophisticated man in the middle relay attacks. In round trip time, an initiator device sends cryptographically scrambled packets to a reflector device, which then returns the packets. The distance between the devices is calculated based on the time it took for the packets to travel back and forth. RTT acts as a secure distance bounding technique, providing an independent distance measurement to cross-check the phase-based ranging measurement. This can significantly reduce the risk of man-in-the-middle attacks. By combining phase-based ranging and round-trip time, Bluetooth channel sounding enables secure and accurate distance measurements between Bluetooth-connected devices. Now let's turn to a short overview of the impact of the channel sounding feature on Bluetooth use cases. I mentioned previously that channel sounding enables true distance awareness, but what does distance awareness mean in this context? True distance awareness in the context of device positioning enables a Bluetooth connected device to better understand where it is in relation to other devices it's connected to. True distance awareness can enhance a device's sensing capabilities giving the device and associated connected devices better overall spatial awareness. For example, a smartphone, for instance, will have a better understanding of its position in relation to the door lock. And then the same goes for the door lock. In this example, the door lock will better understand when the smartphone is close enough to automatically unlock or when the smartphone is far enough away to automatically lock. This is just one example. We think true distance awareness between Bluetooth connected devices will have broad applicability and can be used to significantly enhance many Bluetooth solutions. Let's now take a look at a couple of the lead use cases. First, a little background on Find My and Bluetooth technology. Attaching Bluetooth tags to personal items such as keys, wallets, backpacks, and luggage was just the beginning for Find My solutions and associated networks. 
Today, a rapidly increasing number of Bluetooth devices embed Find My capabilities, introducing the possibility of any Bluetooth connected device becoming a Find My device. When a Bluetooth Find My device is misplaced, its owner simply launches an application on their smartphone or tablet to locate it, bringing added convenience and peace of mind. Existing Bluetooth Find My solutions leverage Bluetooth RSSI to determine the vicinity of an item. Using Bluetooth channel sounding, developers can now add true distance awareness to a Find My device, improving the user experience and making it significantly easier and quicker for users to locate lost items. When it comes to digital key solutions, Bluetooth technology helped expand the role of the smartphone in everyday life enabling it to be used as a convenient and secure digital key. As mentioned, everything from cars, doors, safes, and bikes are turning to Bluetooth to enable keyless access and provide a more secure locking mechanism. Current Bluetooth digital key solutions rely on RSSI to estimate the distance between the lock and the key, for instance. Using Bluetooth channel sounding, developers can enhance the security and user experience of digital key solutions, ensuring a lock only opens when the authorized device is within a certain distance. This significantly reduces the risk of unauthorized access from man-in-the-middle relay attacks. Beyond Find My and digital key solutions, Bluetooth channel sounding has the potential to bring benefits to many connected device solutions, transforming the way we interact with our connected world. For instance, Bluetooth Human Machine Interface, or HMI, these solutions could add Bluetooth channel sound to enhance personnel safety by only allowing their usage from a safe distance. Another is human interface devices, such as mice, keyboards, and game controllers. These could automatically switch between active and inactive states based on their distance from a smartphone, tablet, or laptop. Likewise, Bluetooth device networks, such as those used for wireless lighting control, they could better self-optimize their configuration to enhance system performance. The opportunities are endless, really. We think there are a wide range of use cases that can benefit by adding true distance awareness to Bluetooth connected products. As far as additional learning goes, we've published a long form technical overview paper that dives into the details of the Bluetooth channel sounding feature. The link to the paper is provided on this slide. This paper delves into and explains the channel sounding architecture, operation and procedures, ranging methods, security, and much more. If you're a Bluetooth developer or a wireless technology decision maker, this is an outstanding resource for you.